this month's Prescription Arkansas report, removing the gunk that builds up in arteries. It's called plaque, and it's now easier than ever to get rid of. Ann Jansen explains. Carol Foreman makes the most of her day, getting in steps whenever she can. Not long ago, Carol wasn't sure she'd ever walk again without excruciating pain. I just completely fell down. I couldn't walk. I couldn't stand. I couldn't do anything. She had no idea what was wrong. I really thought I had a blood clot. It's what I thought I had. It turned out to be peripheral arterial disease, also known as PAD. Fatty deposits build up in the arteries, blocking blood flow to the kidneys, stomach, arms, legs, and feet. Those blocked arteries can lead to heart attack, stroke, even amputation. Dr. Randy Minton was able to use a device called the Silver Hawk to remove the problematic plaque. Uh, we put a catheter in at the bend of the leg that's no bigger than a coffee straw, and then everything we do is through that little catheter, which comes out after the procedure. It uses a rotating blade to shave away the plaque, collecting it at the tip and removing it from the artery. Uh, traditionally, it was always done with angioplasty, which is the balloon, um, and as well as a stent, and I still do that procedure as well. Uh, for the right patient, but majority of the time these days we can remove the blockage without having to use angioplasty or leave behind a stent. There's also a mini silver hawk to reach the tiny arteries on the surface of the foot. Really those cases you would only use if you're looking to try to save a uh, toe or foot that maybe have uh, an ulcer, uh, possibly gangrene or diabetic patients that really had no other option potentially but amputation. And recovery is quick. The operation was on a Thursday, and I was dancing on Sunday. Carol is following doctor's orders about exercise. So what I have to do is walk just to keep my blood flowing. And uh, what that does, it knocks off all the cholesterol and the platy tissue that's built up in your arteries because you're pounding, you're pounding, you're pounding. So I walk and I dance, and now I'm into kickboxing. Carol says she's heard the wake-up call. No more sitting on the couch for her. Happy days and active days. She hopes are here to stay. Ann Jansen, today's THV. Right now, the Silver Hawk is used only on the arteries and the legs, but it's hoped in the future there will be a similar device doctors can actually use on the heart. Check with your health insurance to see if this procedure is covered. In tonight's Prescription Arkansas survey from today's THV and Baptist Health, we asked 500 Arkansans if heart disease runs in their family. 45% said yes, 51% said no.